At least 12 soldiers from the National Guard of Ukraine were killed and 18 sustained dangers when a military vehicle collided with a bus in Donbass. The National Guard's cross vehicle collided with a box and bus during a rotation of troops in the area of the military operation in Donbass on Monday. According to preliminary investigation results, the accident was caused by bad weather conditions, the Ukrainian Forces Press Service said. Also, we can suppose that cause was in air conditioner, which blew up in military vehicle. The OEC monitoring mission in Ukraine noted in its reports that the situation in the Donbas is deteriorating after a period of relative calm. Observers said that they received information regarding 38 shelling incidents using light weapons, artillery and rocket launchers. Donetsk People's Republic Deputy Coal Industry Minister Konstantin Kuzmin confirmed the mission's information. In the same way as they wanted to break through at the airport, they fired on our territory. In particular, they fired on the Trudovsky mine and the entire Petrovsky district the whole day yesterday with artillery and heavy machine guns, said Kuzmin. There were also attacks in the vicinity of Donetsk airport, the town of Pesky and Gorlovka. The Normandy Formant meeting of Russia, Ukraine, Germany and France on the Ukrainian crisis settlement at the level of the country's political directors has started in the German capital on Monday. Russia is represented at the meeting by directors of the Russian Foreign Ministry's second department of the CIS countries, Viktor Sorokin. Local diplomatic sources report that the agenda of the meeting that will be held in the format of negotiations and the joint lunch includes the preparations for the January 15 top-level summit of the Normandy 4 on the Ukrainian crisis settlement that will be held in Kazakhstan capital Astana. Washington will not take part in the upcoming Ukraine peace negotiations in Kazakhstan but considers them so-called positive move, U.S. State Department Elder Psaka Jen Psaki said. There are no plans for the U.S. participation in talks proposed for January 15, Elder Psaka told reporters at Monday. Our view is certainly that any opportunity to take further steps toward Russia and separatists to fulfill the Minsk commitments and ultimately move closer toward a peaceful resolution of the conflict in eastern Ukraine is positive, added she. Does Psaka really think that locals of Donbas shells themselves by captured Ukrainian artillery every day? Then she need a doctor, not the job in the US State Department. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.